Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. How are you today? Um, as I get my hand right in the way. All right. So welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here. I have a super cute technique to teach you. And I actually learned this. Hang on a minute. There we go. I actually learned this from, and I wrote down the whole because I wanted to make sure I got um, Shannon's title right, right? I mean, I just know her as Shannon West. She's super fun. She worked at Stampin' Up, but she's a DDM, and it stands for Demonstrator Development Manager. And she has a certain area, and I didn't write that part down, but she's also a demonstrator, and she's in Utah. So I learned this technique from her. It is super fun. So I was like, I have to totally show it. Now, I, I couldn't sleep this morning. I mean, I, I think yesterday I was up at 4.30 to place my um, first order with the catalog and everything. This morning I woke up at 3.30. I'm like, what the heck? So I was going in my head. I'm like, okay, I want to do this technique. But I was like, well, what if I make it be like a resist? So I just was like, well, I wonder if this would work. I wonder if this would work. So then I started playing. And so this is how I came up with my card, but it's basically um, Shannon's technique. I just tweaked it. Hey, it's all about tweaking, right? Well, maybe not the bad tweaking, um, changing. <laughs> um, so let me get started. Now this is using the nuts and bolts, which is the um, my class in the mail for January, but this is not one of the cards. And I'll show you those cards again. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking I might do is just as a little bonus for taking my class, I'll make you one and I'll stick it in your packet. All right. Because I think it is stinking adorable. And then that way you can make your own, right? When you get home. All right. So, hey, Shannon, it's on here. So I told, I was like, is it okay if I do your, your technique? And she said, yeah. So I, I told her to make sure she says hi. So she is on here too. So hi, Shannon. Hi, Dawn. All right, so I, I, I said, I hope I do you proud, right? All right, so let me turn my phone around. I'll try not to get too um, flustered now that we have the famous Shannon on here. Let me move my stuff off the desk. All right, so there's there's my hand, there's my nose. All right, good, good, good. So let, all right. I'm so glad you're seeing me live, that's awesome, all right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so this is what the stamp set I ended up using was the Nuts and Bolts. It is super cute. I wanted something that had some fun kind of fonts and um, sketchy kind of looking stuff. And that so this one worked out perfectly. So that's what I used. Now, like I said, these are not the um, cards you're making at class. These are what you're making for the Nuts and Bolts class. So you have your little box with your little robot inside there. I showed you these the other day, but in case you're new, hey Joe, you're also making this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now remember, you will do two of each of the four cards for class, but only one of the boxes, all right? Okay, but like I said, I had so much fun with this that I will make, if you do the class, I made myself a note. I'll put one of these cards already finished in your um, packet. All right, so let's see. I'm like looking all around for all my stuff. All right, so we are gonna be using polished pink as our card base. I'm also gonna be using basic black, basic gray. This is the inside of the card. All right, I'm also using the shimmery. Make sure I grab the right piece because it's cut just a tad smaller. So I'm using the shimmery paper. So let's get this going on. Now what I did was I thought let's do some resist. So I'm gonna be using the white embossing powder and I'm using the white pad. Now when you buy the white pad the first time, it comes like empty and has the refill in it and then you just refill it. Now this is, um, I think they still look like this because this is the craft pad. So it's the old style. So I'm just using the, the white craft. You could also use the Versamark, but I like to have the white because I can see where I've been, right? All right, so let's get stamping. I also have like a coffee filter that I'm going to um, use kind of to catch all the extra embossing powder. All right. 
So let's see here. So I'm going to stamp I'm nuts about you right here in the white. And then I'm going to quickly, I guess I could have had the lid off of there. I'm going to quickly pour this over top. Now I usually have a spoon, but it's constantly getting lost in there. So then I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to pour it. All right. Then I'm going to do you make my heart go beep. So I'm just going to emboss all of these and then I'm going to actually off camera heat emboss them. All right. I don't have my heat gun over here because I'm afraid if I kept it over here, I would forget to unplug it. So I have it at its own station so that I use it like I plug it in. I use it and I immediately unplug it because you don't want to left them plugged in, even though it has an on and off switch. Um, right, you could leave home and say you had an earthquake or something and your house jiggled and the switch got turned on, your heat gun could be turned on when you're not home, right? All right, so there we have that. Now I'm gonna go off camera, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna emboss, heat emboss this. All right, I use a little um, clothespin to hold my piece of paper. All right, so hang on. All right, so I heat embossed that. I really didn't. All right, I really didn't. I'm just pretending. All right, so you're going to heat emboss it. And after I heat embossed it, then I ran it through the brick and mortar. And then what that does is you have your, hey, Breton, Breton's here. Um, oh, it's a new style pad, Breton. Oh, so that's a, this, I've had mine like for a long time then. Okay, so then after I heat embossed it, then I ran it through the brick and mortar. So can you see that it has the brick and mortar and then also has the I'm nuts about you and the heart and all that kind of stuff. All right, so let me close my embossing powder. And then I'll just heat that other one after, right? And use it, but I just, for time. Oh, you know what I did? So this is why you put it in the coffee filter because then you can pour it into the, back into the thing and you don't waste any. We used to have the, we used to have a little plastic thing that worked. And then I think I sold them when we didn't carry them anymore. I don't know why, I could have just kept them but I'm a dork. Okay, so now we have this. Then what I'm gonna do is move all this stuff out of the way, vacuum up my embossing powder, because it's everywhere. All right, then I have set up, so I'm hoping I can show this. All right, so I just have a priority box, and I have taped it so that there's no, like, holes anywhere. And then I have like a, what is this? A photo holder? It's nice and dusty, a photo holder. And what I'm doing is I'm setting this inside the box. So let me see if I can, I don't wanna mess the phone up. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. So hopefully you could see, can you see in there? I hope you can, I hope you can. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm setting this up in here. So I have all that tape on there. Hey, Teresa, I have all that. So it's kind of dark, right? Well, you can kind of see. Then I'm gonna take my little um, plate stand. Yes. All right, then I'm gonna put my little thing there. All right, now what I have here is one of our spritzers and I've put some alcohol in here. So I've just put some alcohol. I have that alcohol that is a heavy, heavy duty, but I don't think you have to have it. This is the 91. I should have showed you this before I moved the phone. The 91%. I don't think you have to use the 91%, but that's what I have. All right. So I put some alcohol in there. Then I put a few drops of magenta madness. And I put a few drops of polished pink. And then, you know, just give it a shake. It really depends on, you know, how, how, um, 
how dark you want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple more little drops of polish pink in there. So Shannon had, I think, gorgeous grape. She had some really fun colors going on. She did one with gray, or it was stays on, I think. But um, but I just did mine with the pinks today because I'm making it kind of like a Valentine card. All right, so I put some drops in here, and then this is just gonna go on here. Then I'm just gonna give it a shake. Da, 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 da. All right. And then we're going to reach inside the box. Now, you don't want to breathe really hard because this is spraying that alcohol. So just kind of be very cautious. All right. So we're going to go in here. So hopefully you can see. And I'm getting it pretty close. And I'm just going to spritz. Because you want it to be drippy. You want it to drip so that it would be like, like um, the graffiti people, you know? All right, and then we're just gonna let that dry. Now you can spritz more if you want, but it takes a little bit of time for that to dry. All right, so let me, so what I was doing was just like going like this, but I have one that's already dry. Where's my dry one? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, maybe I, oh, I stamped, oh, I did the, dry one. Okay, hold on a minute. Hang on a minute. All right, so bring this out so you can see it out of my fancy little box. So this will be my forever box. That's just a spray box. All right, get this off of there. All right, then we'll go back. So hopefully, isn't that cool? All right, so now you have this look. So it's very fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it aside so it can dry. And um, I was scared to use the heat gun only because I'm using that 91% um, alcohol and it's, um, that is flammable. So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get it too hot. So while that's drying, I'm going to finish the rest of my card. Okay. So we have, um, I need some basic white. Where's my basic white? All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna put our cute little robot. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry because it's using that alcohol, right? Oh, and then have water-based ink. Our cute little robot. So he's gonna go on the outside. Then I want a cute little robot on the inside. So I need a grid sheet, hold on a minute. When I'm just stamping by myself, I just have scrap paper. So I have like 2020 calendar that had like extra paper. So this time would it just be by myself? I hate to waste paper, but I don't want to put that on the camera. All right. So let's see where is my inside one. So I think this is my inside one. Hold on a minute. I grabbed a bunch to stamp on. All right, so we also want to put a cute little robot on the inside of the card. I'm leaving the card empty on the inside. Like I'm not gonna put a greeting because I want this to be a Valentine. And I've already used the two greetings that come with the stamp set. And um, so I wanna, I can either write with a pen or I can choose another Valentine, you know, stamp. So I'm not gonna put anything on the inside right now. But we are gonna put this little guy, or girl, it could be both, on the inside. So let her dry, and let's do this little guy and get him colored up. Um, alcohol evaporates could be, yes, exactly. And then I was just worried a little bit because I think it says it's flammable, that alcohol. I don't know. So I was just scared to use the heat gun. So I'm like, you know what? By the time I get these two little cut out, this little guy um, colored and everything, it will be dry. It will be good and dry. All right. So let's see here. So Shannon says she loves the peekaboo greetings. I know. I thought that was would be, I well, I wasn't sure if it would work for one thing, but it totally does, right? I mean, it totally does. It just makes your technique a little bit different. Shannon did the, um, with the embossing, fold, not the embossing folders, the dies. So her letters 
came out. So you'll have to um, look at her channel. Shannon has a YouTube channel on here as well. So you'll have to check that out. If you want, Shannon, you could put the link if you know how to put the link in the writing here in the chat. All right, so this is just dark, smoky slate. So I'm going to color my robot three different colors because he was used with all sorts of pieces from the junkyard because he was made with love. All right. I love that one movie. What is that one movie with the robots? And it has Hugh Jackman. That's what this set reminds me of. I love that movie. Oh my gosh. It makes me cry every time. I can even just watch like the last part of it and not even have to watch the whole movie and cry. Like, but it's such a good movie. All right, so this was light smoky slate and dark smoky slate. Then I'm gonna do dark gray granite, a little bit here, and then the chin. I just kind of liked, liked them to be some different colors and not all the same color. So this is the dark gray granite and then light gray granite. Hi, Stacy. Better late than never. And I love when you um, email me or chat later and leave a comment. And I always try to answer. YouTube's pretty good about like saying, you know, you got a comment or something. All right. Then this is cinnamon cider because he's kind of rusty, right? They grab some rusty metal as well. But I just love the different colors of metal. All right. Cute, cute. And then, let's see, we want our hearts. All right, I want his cheeks to dry before I give him his cheeks. All right, so the heart's gonna be, I just grabbed um, the, the magenta madness because that was the ink, right? So I want it to, um, hey Dawn, thank you so much, Stacy and Dawn for sharing. I love that. I have been getting um, a few new customers lately and I love that, right? That you share, share your friends with me. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel like you like what you see and hopefully I teach something you might not have seen before. So I know it was so nice of Shannon to show this technique and I was like, oh my gosh. All right, now this is the dark smoky. I'm just gonna put on his arms there. All right, so his face should be dry now. So I'm just gonna take the light polished pink and I'm just gonna give him some cheeks. Usually I do flirty but I found that the flirty with these darker colors kind of soaked in, so I couldn't see it as well. So I, I chose the polished pink. So I'm gonna cut this out in a minute. But see how cute he is? All right, so let me color this one. I'm gonna let him dry a little bit while we color this one. So let me look at my one on the inside. All right, so we have dark, dark, dark. So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna color we're going to call this the girl. She's, I don't, because he gave her the flower. All right. All right. So we have dark, smoky slate, and light. So I'm just basically coloring them the same way. So I'm so excited. I shared with you the other day that we're getting some new tone blends. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get mine. I like two day or two day ordered my stuff so it would come quick only because I have the DSP share to get ready and then I have um my spring social you know as well all right so let's see here this is the cinnamon so like I said I'm just kind of coloring them the same and that inside i like to add a little bit of cinnamon on the bowl because then it looks like a rusty bowl so this is the light and the dark cinnamon 
And I'm also going to add, I know, gel pen, but I'm going to wait till they're all the way dry. If you do the gel pen too soon, then it just kind of soaks in. So you want to make sure it's all the way dry. All right. So this is dark gray granite and a little bit on those. I can never decide if those are just wires or if they're bolts. So I've been kind of like coloring them in solid. But they could be kind of like a Frankenstein head, right? All right. So again, our little pink pink cheeks. And then we're going to do the bolt. They painted it. So it's not just a rusty old bowl on the outside or whatever that is, a saw blade. Jeff would know. They painted it all pretty. Have you ever seen those saws that they paint the, the pictures on? Do they even still do that? All right, there's that. And then this one has eyeballs. This little guy, his eyeballs are pretty small, so I didn't add any color. But this one has big, wide eyeballs. I think she was surprised she got flowers. They've been married a long time and she never gets flowers. <laughs> oh, hint, hint, just in case Jeff watches the video, right? So she was like, what, I got flowers? All right, so we're gonna cut this out. I did get flowers recently as Rhonda dropped me off some flowers. She got some Ray Dunn stuff. I've sold some of my Ray Dunn stuff. So she came and picked it up. So sometimes she's on here. Oh, yes, Brenton. Those new blends. Oh my gosh. I have a few coming. I'm, I was like looking at my um, storage. And I usually, oh, speaking of storage, I want to put some Winkostella on here because I think that will make the metal even glisten even more. Um, I was looking at my storage for my blends and I have my, I have other things stuck in the bottom row, like the Winka Stella and things like that. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to um, move those, right? So that I have room for my new skin tone ones. All right. So I'm just cutting out this cute little robot. And you see how I'm doing that? I'm not moving the scissors, I'm moving the paper. You just kind of have to look ahead so you know which way to turn. But it's a lot easier on your hand to turn the paper than like this, right? So I just keep squeezing my scissors and then turning the paper. I get that. I love to sit and fussy cut. I get that. My granny was like that. She would sit and cut out magazine stuff, recipes, you name it. All right, almost done. And then our graffiti should be good and dry. All right, so we have our cute little guy cut out. All right, let me get this out of the way. I can put the card together. All right, get this out of here. Try to clean my workspace. I've been trying to be so much better, keeping the studio a little cleaner. I started working on taxes this morning. All right, so here we have these two. So like I said, I'm gonna use a little Wink of Stella. And I think that will just make the metal shine, right? So it will give that metal. And I'm not coloring the whole metal in. I want it to only kind of have shine a little bit, but not like fully, right? I don't want it to totally be a shiny thing. I just want it to shine here and there. So just kind of where I put the dark, I'm just quickly putting a little bit. So it's hard to see on the camera, right? What Winka Stella does. So can you see? Can you see, does it catch the light a little bit? Yeah, so see, when I move it, you can see just a little bit of the Wink of Stella. Oh, see that? You can see that. All right, I also want my gel pen. All right, so we're gonna do our gel pen. So we're gonna add a little highlight 
here on the heart. Where else? Of course, we need like little freckles on our cheeks. And I know we don't have gel pens. I just get them on Amazon. All right. And then little cheeks. And just a couple of dots here and there. Just to add a little bit of white. You know me. I like my gel pen. All right, very, very good. So let's bring our card over. So this should be good and dry. So yeah, so this is dry. So if you do this, you just wanna make sure you're doing something else, right? So you have time to do it. So all right, let's see, we've got our card base. So let me glue her inside the card, just so she's out of the way. Even though I vacuumed, I still feel little, <sighs> bits of embossing powder. Whoops, almost put her on the outside. All right, so she goes on the inside. So like I said, I'm not putting anything as a writing because I can always add it later. So, and maybe this will be, you know, this could be an anniversary card. So I won't, like the one I stick in your class, I won't put anything on the inside either. And that, that way you can put whatever you want on the inside, okay? Because it could be anniversary, you know, it could be Valentine's, obviously. You know, whatever, whatever. All right, so let's bring this over. Okay, so what I did was I cut this a little smaller because I wanted to have a ground here because this is the wall. All right. So we have just basic gray. Because I figured, you know, we're in the city, right? So we have gray, con gray concrete underneath, all right? And then I have black because pink and black looks amazing together. So the black goes here. So there's just a tiny, tiny little bit of a layer. So that, see, look how cute that is. All right. Then we have our little robot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on the card and keep building. Because I'm also, I wanted to put a little bit of something 3D. So I grabbed some of our new embellishments. All right, so here's that. And then this little guy is going to go on with dimensionals. So I'm just using the big dimensionals. But I'm going to trim them for his feet. You don't need very big. I probably could have used the baby ones, but I got the mama ones out. All right, so we've got, just so that his feet also has um, a dimensional under there. Hi, Mary Ellen. All right, so let's see here. So we're gonna stick them on here. And then, like I said, I wanted to have some sort of, I didn't want a ribbon. I didn't want a ribbon on the card. If you did put a ribbon, you would probably want to make this a little smaller and have more of a road and you could put a ribbon. But I made my street pretty thin because I wanted to save a lot of room for this awesome technique. All right, so we're gonna put our cute little robot right in the center, like that. And then we have, so these are some of the new embellishments. So we have the pebbles. So even though this is a street card, there would still be like dirt in the road, right? Hi, Sherry. There would still be dirt in the road. So I'm just gonna put a few little pebbles. And brown and gray. And we have to have an odd number, right? Odd is more pleasing to the eye than an even number. So let's see here. You can put them wherever you want. All right, but see how it looks so cute. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put anything on the wall. Let's see, what do you think? Do I put anything on the wall? That might be cool. 
Ooh, I might use the gray because then it, it pulls from. Hmm. See, this is when it gets confusing. I think I might do the black. Decisions, decisions, right? Hi, Carol. That's all right. That's okay. You can always watch. I don't know where I got got this guy from. I don't even know if this this little guy is even current. Like I said, it was cleaning my studio. All right, so I'm just going to put a few of these around. They look kind of cool too, right? So this just emphasizes the black cardstock. Okay, one, two, three, and I'm going to use a big one and another big one. So that's not bad. It's kind of cute. I mean, it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to show you the other one. All right, but isn't that cool? Look how stinking cute. So I may or may not like the bling on it. What do you think? It's almost supper time. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's the one I was looking at. So they're very similar, very, very similar. I did not put Wink Estella on this one yet. I know I didn't put the bling. So do you like the little bling? Hey Don, do you like the little black? Um whatchamacallit? I'm almost thinking that no. I kind of like and going, well, I'm not for sure. Let's see. Ooh, I could take it off. Ho oh. ho. Look at that, I took it off. So we'll see. I don't wanna tear the paper. Oh, and one thing I thought, oh, I wonder if I can, um, because this resist, it still gets a little bit of the color on it, like it's not pure white. Um, because you do have to do the, um, the words first because you can't be doing the words after because of the, um, the brick and mortar, it wouldn't allow you to get a good impression. So I thought, oh, what happens if I just use like a baby wipe and just touch a little bit? But no, see, so it also takes, so this is my play one. It um, it also takes off some of the, the pink. This also was just the basic white. So this worked too, um, but Shannon said she used the shimmery. So then I changed and did the shimmery. So don't try to use a baby wipe. Let's see. Um, yes, Carol, I'm thinking the same thing, right? Like sometimes less is more. So I'm just very carefully going up underneath there so I don't tear. You don't need to see me do this though. So I'm gonna take take the, the um, dots off. So there is a cute little card. And I'll just add Wink Estella to that. So anyways, all right. So let me turn the phone. So yay! So thank you, Shannon. My allergies are kicking up, even though it's winter time. Um, so thanks, Shannon, for the awesome technique. I love it. I'm gonna try um, because this was just pinks, but I'm like, oh, it might be cool to have like um pink and, and a different and then fill a um a spritzer, because I have few spritzers, right? So what I would do is, you know, if it doesn't wash. Super good. I might just always leave this to be pink. Um, but but just make sure you you mark them, right? Because I have a few. Like I have one that this is one I was using that alcohol with the vellum, and then I have one that just says H two O because it just has water in it. So these are great. These are in the catalog. These are the spritzers. But um, so but I might fill one with like purple. That might be cool, right? But I kept this one as a Valentine, so I kept it as the pinks. But so I might look through the catalog and, and find some other, you know, sets that might look cool and, and do some other colors. I love the one that Shannon had that had, um, you did black, Shannon. Yay, da, or thank you so much, Shannon. Um, thank you, Deborah. It is cute. It just turned out, I mean, I'll tell you the honest truth. It's adorable. It's adorable. So, um, so anyway, so yeah, so if you do the class, I'll stick one in there. I will put the little black um, bling on there because I think that's just too much and it takes away from, from the wall, right? So anyways, all right. And again, I won't put anything on the inside so you can, you know, hand you write your name to your honey on it. All right, and Shannon, if you'd like me to send you one, uh -huh, let me know and I'll pop one in the mail to you. 
All right, everyone. So I'm going to say see you later. I won't see you tomorrow. I don't do lives on Thursday. I actually have um, a haircut appointment that I can now drive to. Yay! And otherwise, I'll see you Friday for my dyes shorts, 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. So thanks so much. If you have any questions on anything you saw today or on my channel, always reach out to me and um, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. All right. So thanks so much for always t taking a little bit out of your day and spend some time with me. I appreciate it a lot. All right. Night. See you later. <laughs>